Hello everyone, today we will be discussing about cartridge of shotgun and rifled weapon. So let's talk about the shotgun cartridge. The shotgun cartridge consists of a short metal cylinder which is called the case. This case is continuous with cardboard or plastic cylinder which is here. The case is rimmed. This is called rimming which helps to keep the cartridge in place in correct position inside the chamber. Below here we have the primer cup which is also called the percussion cap or the detonator cap or the primer battery cap. This primer cup contains a priming mixture or the primer or the detonator. This priming mixture is above continuous with the gunpowder through a hole called the vent. This vent helps to communicate between the priming chamber and the gunpowder chamber. Next we have the gunpowder chamber which contains the gunpowder and above it we have the felt wad. This felt wad is separated above from the shots and below from the gunpowders by cardboard discs above and below. And above this layer of felt wad we have the shots or the pellets. The pellets or the shots are above enclosed by retaining cardboard disc. Now what is the function of the felt wad? If there was no insulating layer between the shots and the gunpowder then during the explosion of the gunpowder the extreme heat generated would melt and fuse all the shots. So to prevent this we have the felt wad which acts as an insulating layer and prevents the fusion of the shots. Now the pellets are of mainly two types soft pellets which is made of soft lead and hard pellets which are made of lead but hardened by antimony. Largest type of shot is called buckshot which is 6 to 8 millimeters in diameter. Now let's come to cartridge of rifled weapon. In case of rifled firearm we have metal cylinder with a flat base. From below upwards we again have the primer cup or the percussion cap or the detonator cap which contains the priming pellet or the priming mixture or the detonator which communicates with the gunpowder chamber through a vent or flash hole. Above that we have the gunpowder chamber which contains the gunpowder or powder charge and above that we have our bullet which consists of an outer jacket and inner core. Now in some bullets there is a circumferential groove which helps to keep the bullet in place which is called cannelure. Now let's talk about the primers. The primer cup or percussion cap is first struck by the firing pin when the trigger is pulled. The striking causes the detonator or the priming mixture to crush against the anvil center which is this and burns it. This burning causes a flash which through the flash hole goes into the powder charge. The powder charge then ignites and explodes which then discharges the bullet or the shots in case of shotgun. The primer consists of lead antimony sulfide and barium. But previously mercury fulminate or lead azide was used. Now let's talk about the gunpowder. The gunpowder is basically of three types. Black powder, smokeless powder and semi smokeless powder. The black type of gunpowder consists of potassium nitrate 75%, sulfur 10% and charcoal 15%. The black gunpowder consists of potassium nitrate 
75%, sulfur 10% and charcoal 15%. Then the smokeless powder which can be of three types, single base, double base or triple base. Single base consists of nitrocellulose, double base consists of nitroglycerin and nitrocellulose and triple base consists of nitrocellulose, nitroglycerin and nitroguanidine. The smokeless powders burn more completely than black powder so they produce less flame and smoke. And the final type is the semi smokeless powder which is a mixture of the black powder and the smokeless powder which contains 80% black powder and 20% smokeless powder. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Take care.